guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's segment, we are talking about investment pieces. Should you spend? Should you save? And what do you really invest your money in? So this question comes up all the time from clients. I get asked this when I'm out and about. And there's definitely a few key tips that I always say. First, you always have to know your budget and kind of what your sort of style is that you really want to invest in and what things are something that you might just say, okay, let me try a little of that, um, but not really spend too much of your budget or your money on that. So in terms of investment pieces, there's four big key items that I would say definitely places that you want to spend a little bit more. The first would be um, a great pair of jeans. I think denim, having a nice pair is essential. Great to have your bottom or your butt look fantastic in it, can really elongate your legs. Getting that proper fit from a great pair that suits you really well is totally worth the money and something that you'll keep re-wearing over and over again. Um, the next thing is to invest in a great leather jacket. So you can always tell when someone has bought cheap leather, it starts pilling, the stitching comes out. You really can see the big difference between quality leather that someone is invested in versus a cheap knockoff type of something. So you wanna look for a great fitting denim that suits you really well through your shoulder and your arm sleeve. And then also look for something that has kind of your own personal style to it as well. So it might be that you like a jacket that's double breasted or you like more of the biker style or you know it might be that it belts in, around the waist or that it cinches you in there, or it has interesting sort of design features or elements to it, such as you know zippers and studs, whatever it is that is your go-to, look for and find a designer that fits you and suits you really well, and go into leather stores or to shopping stores and places to purchase that and really feel the leather and trying it on. You can truly see the difference in having a great leather jacket. The next piece that I would say to invest in is a great blazer. And that's something that you can wear from going to brunch with friends or if you're going on a date, you can wear it to the office and then transition that also out to evening, to an evening event or dinner, cocktails, drinks. Any of those occasions you can wear a great blazer for. So think about what your kind of personal style is and what it also can work well with to intermix in your wardrobe. So that might be that you want something that has a little bit more embellishment or flair on it. Might have some interesting design details, some stitching, some, you know, like a unique sleeve line, whatever it may be that kind of stands out, but look for that high quality piece that again truly is about getting that great fit for you but also a piece that will transition throughout multiple looks that you might be wearing it with. And then the next piece that I believe in is really having a great statement handbag. A statement handbag truly carries you in style. It's a bag that you can carry anywhere with you that says, look at me, I've got that killer look. Make sure that you're choosing great pieces that have nice fabrics or textures. So look for great pieces of suede or rich leathers. You can always tell a bad bag when the leather is peeling or it has that shiny, rubbed off, worn look. So this is really an area that you want to spend your money on, something that really carries you in style to anywhere you might go. The next piece to spend on is what I call sort of your LBD or your killer dress. So for that, you want a piece, a dress that fits you like a glove, it accentuates all the right things on your figure, and it's really something that you can pull out of your closet wherever you're going, you look good in it, you feel great, you carry yourself well, and your body language truly says, check me out, I look great in this piece. Now, who doesn't want to save money? We all do. 
So these are the key areas where I think that you can really save money when you're shopping and not necessarily have to spend a lot. The first thing is trends. So those might be pieces such as high-waisted jeans, flare jeans, velvet, different sort of textures, fabrics, certain style tops that come on trend. That's an area where I'd say try out the pieces, see if you really like whatever it is, that style that you're wearing, and then you can truly spend money on it. But for something that you might just have for one season only, and you don't know if you're really gonna wear it and love it more, don't spend your money there. Another place to save is when you are buying layering pieces. So those are simple things that you can interchange often and you don't need to spend a lot of money on them. You can find great t-shirts, great turtlenecks, great camisoles, anything that you're layering underneath of, leather jackets, blazers, um, cardigans, whatever you may be layering with your look, those you can find reasonably priced at a lot of different boutiques and stores and you don't really need to invest in them because you're going to continually be changing or replacing them and they're not really your statement piece in your outfit. The last thing that I would say is an area where you want to really save a buck and shop smartly is when you are thinking about um, sort of your one-off outfits that you might wear to a certain event for something. You might be heading to a cool concert, you're going to a show, to something unique, or for that one-off crazy date you might go on, or vacation, but you know that you're never really going to be wearing the piece again. That's an area where I think you can truly bargain shop. So for women, maybe it's you want some killer cool jumpsuit or you want you know, some trendy dress or top to wear for something. But you know that you might be heading to that city or town or location and you're never going to wear it again. So that's something where you can kind of go a little bit lower end, still find some really cool outrageous pieces that are unique and different, but you don't have to spend a lot of money. We hope these tips have helped you so you know where to invest, where to save, and where to spend to look great. Check out our style freebies below and make sure you get your outfit on point with us. Thanks for watching. See you on the next segment.